I was preparing for a show at Casey Kaplan Gallery um, titled Nights in Harlem. I was really thinking a lot about the way that the street and the luminosity on the street changes how the light functions in a painting. So I was thinking about how colors would change, how people would be backlit or from street lamps or from uh, stores and their neons kind of shining onto the street. I was just walking around looking for people and places, thinking about the landscape of Harlem at night. I noticed a discarded arrangement of flowers that I presume to be funeral arrangement flowers based off the structure of those metal bars and the circular notion. And they were just sitting right in front of the trash can. And there was a street lamp that was illuminating the street behind it. It was a moment of pause for me. Um, it was a moment of inquiry. I just was like, huh, that's an interesting placement. I wonder what brought this here, who was lost potentially. I decided to take one photograph, and that's a little different than normally I take sometimes upwards to hundreds of, I'm just clicking away and I'm maybe moving around. A, a subject is a very interactive moment. When it's another human being, I'm feeding off of their energy. This was a very stagnant object, although it held the humanity of someone. I had to kind of approach it differently. So I took that one photograph and I printed it and had it in my studio for almost six months or so before I ultimately made the painting. Um, I didn't know if it was going to be a part of the show because it didn't uh, directly represent a figure. I wasn't sure how it was going to fit into the practice. But then there was a day I literally concluded if I feel so strongly that the landscape of the subjects that I paint is paramount to who they are as people, this is directly derivative of that. This is representative of a person and a body. It is highly figurative, um, even if it doesn't have a physical representation of a body, the sense of memory is there. This felt so intensely related to a human body with its legs and its kind of rounded figure I couldn't ignore the verticality that it was going to require, similar to if I had a standing upright subject or person with me. There was a, a processing or a nod to the life that had lived. I think that was really important to me. The scale has often been a consistent factor in my practice in the sense that I've always wanted the subjects living or beyond us to feel as if they can come out of the space that they're occupying, i.e. the canvas, that they can participate in their environments fully, that they're unapologetically present within the spaces that they occupy. And this painting of Memorial, it's very centered within the canvas frame in a way that doesn't allow you to ignore its presence in the same way that a, a seated figure would not be able to allow you to ignore their presence. I, I wanted it to feel not discarded. I think of paintings mostly as questions and answers in some ways. I do think every artist at the core of it to some level we're all starting from a very inquisitive place, a sense of seeking answers through the act of making. And I do think that all the paintings collectively will probably in the end, in my own kind of memorialization of my life, will be attributed to the boundaries of discovery in the course of my life. I can't ignore the fact that when I'm particularly making portraits, memorial is slightly different because I don't have a name to attribute to the person who was lost. That is something that in some ways I feel like I grieve. I, I wish I have a longing to know who that person was.